Taryn or BSG tearing it up. Today is October 17th, 2017. Um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy or weight loss surgery on September 19th, 2017 at Henry Ford, Maine in Detroit with Dr. Carbuli. Uh, my highest weight ever was 278 and that was in March. My surgery weight was 232, so that's 46 pounds down pre-op. Um, my weight last week was 222.4 and my weight today, did I break myself? I sure did. Uh, 220.9, so that's 57.1 pounds from my highest weight, 11.1 pounds from surgery, and 1.5 pounds in the last week. So, I had a 21-day stall. It started four days post-op and lasted until last Friday. Um, I told you Shark Week was coming. It didn't come exactly on time. It should have came on the 11th. It came a couple days late. I don't remember what day exactly, but it's almost over now. TMI, sorry. I think I only have one guy that watches anyways. Um, CK TV, I think he's, I think he's from like England or something. I'm not sure, but he uses stones in his video. So I don't know if you're watching, comment below where you're from. I don't remember, but I like your accent. I also have a bit, um, one of my new subscribers I think it's Amy RNY. She's from Canada, which is cool because that's my neighbor to the north because I'm in Michigan. But I'm half Canadian. I don't think I've ever said that on my channel. Uh, my dad, his mom, and his brother and sister were all born in Canada. And they came here and became citizens like when they were kids. And so I'm half Canadian. I'm a Canuck. That's true. Anyway, um, so hi guys. I know you guys are kind of new to my channel, I think. Um, if you are following me and I'm not following you, and you'll know that because I usually comment on your channel, like once I get a chance to binge watch it, um, just comment something below, say hi or anything, because I have no idea whenever I get new subscribers. The only way I know is if like they interact with me. So like I know I have a few more subscribers, but I don't really know who you are. So you guys make videos let me know if not and you just want to watch that's fine um anyways but if you want me to watch yours you got to tell me because i am not tech savvy i don't know how to edit videos i suck i don't know sorry um, so anyone who's watching i appreciate you <laughs> it's not the best quality videos out there for sure um okay so yeah i broke my stall i did have shark week and, I mean, I didn't even eat perfect this week, so, I don't know. I started doing the uh, squat challenge, half the ash, put that out there. So, I've been doing that. Like, you go to the bathroom, like, anytime you pee or anything, you um, do 15 squats. Now, I'm not going to lie, the first couple days I sucked and I kept forgetting about it. But I'm kind of on point now and my legs are reminding me, you know, because they hurt. So whatever. I don't know how long we're doing that for, Ash. We didn't really set a time frame. Um, whatever. So I don't know if that's what broke it. I don't know. Whatever. But now that I'm a month out, I am able to exercise. So I might start doing my workout videos because I have workout videos, but I've only been walking this far because I had the, um, periesophageal hernia, hiatal hernia, and I was told not to. So, whatever. I couldn't lift anything. I couldn't even lift my kid. Now I can lift him. Whatever. So, one huge NSV that has honestly been since surgery, but I didn't want to claim it too early. My doctor gave me parameters. He told me that because um, I, I was taking lisinopril, he said people are really sensitive to it. So, which is true. Like, um, at my highest weight, I was taking 5 milligrams twice a day. And I tried to take just 10 in the morning and it would take my pressure. <laughs> like, it would drop me so low, I was symptomatic. So I had to just do, that's what my doctor wanted me to do, I didn't do it on my own. So I had to do five milligrams twice a day. And honestly, it was still, I almost had to increase it before I started losing weight. 
so um, like my blood pressure was really out of control and another thing is my hemoglobin was uh, 5.8 so that's like almost diabetic but uh, I haven't seen my doctor or anything to follow up and see if that's resolved but uh, my doctor gave me specific parameters and told me to check my blood pressure every day and don't take it if it's less than whatever I don't want to tell you guys what my parameters were because I don't want you taking this as my medical advice it's just what my doctor told me so whatever he gave me specific parameters said if it's under this go ahead and don't take it well I have not taken a blood pressure pill since surgery I haven't had to my blood pressure has been within normal range since surgery that is impressive now I'm not gonna lie I lost 46 pounds pre-op and I was only taking one a day prior to surgery so it's not like I was still taking the two a day I was only taking the one a day prior to surgery and now I take nothing for my blood pressure my blood pressure is totally normal every single day it's funny because my husband's is very high and I'm like I'll check his and he checks mine and he's like I don't see why you're always teasing me with your good blood pressures <laughs> like like do you know how crazy you sound right now like you should be happy that your wife has good blood pressure but his is like really high even with his medicine and he takes a couple so um he's like you always just want to rub your good blood pressure in my face he's joking but it's pretty funny um anyways so that's a big NSV. Also, I went dress shopping. I have a wedding to attend on Saturday and I went dress shopping and every single size 18 dress that I tried on fit. And I might have been able to go down to a 16, but I figured since it's Saturday, I'm not gonna lose that much weight and I didn't wanna be like squeezed into a dress, like whatever, I wanna be comfortable. So. Uh, that's exciting. I haven't worn a size 18 since my son, since before my son was born. And he's almost five. He's like four and a half. Well, he'll be five in January, whatever, do the math. But that's exciting. I mean, the 18s, I did buy a couple pairs of Old Navy 18s, but they're like around the waist, like pretty tight. Now they're like loosening up. Around the legs, they're already baggy. I need to start working my stomach. I have that uh, hip hop abs video I should start doing. Uh, Sean T, now that I'm approved. Um, my husband won't do it with me. <laughs> um, that's another story. Anyway, so I had a lot of events going on. I, oh shit, I'm speeding. Oops. So I had a lot of events going on this month I have no idea why but every single weekend I have at least two events so I have been trying to behave you know and eat what I should uh, we had a boat party on Friday it was quite entertaining because like me and all my friends are not like what you would call normal sized well they had um, <laughs> we went out on this pontoon boat and there was like I think like 12 or 13 of us and I'm like how many people can safely be on this boat and she's like 12 and everybody's like um are we gonna sink <laughs> we did not sink guys but we were all I think reasonably nervous because not one person was like you know 100 pounds or whatever you know so that was funny um but we did not sink and it was great because it was raining so bad like Wednesday, Thursday, and then we, Friday, it was beautiful. And then Saturday, it was pouring down rain. We had a party to go to. My husband and I took the kids to a Halloween party down in Newport, Michigan. Uh, I live in like Metro Detroit in Newport. It's like down somewhere by Ohio, I guess. I don't know. It's past Down River. Anything past Down River is like Ohio to me. <laughs> like I'm going to Ohio, whatever. Um, it was in Michigan though, but. And up here, it was storming like horribly, like hideous we went to a truck or treat first and we had it like they moved it inside it was raining that bad and we went down there it's beautiful gorgeous sunny great weather great party um i tried to make good choices at the party as far as eating um on the boat it was a little bit more difficult because it was like chips and dips and cookies and stuff like that so i had bought like these 7-eleven uh chips like cheese chips that are made out of like quinoa and stuff like that so I'm like at least it's not like 
burritos. I mean, it's probably close to the same stats, but at least I can feel in my heart that it's healthier. <laughs> Even though it's still chips. But I didn't know what was going to be on the boat, whatever. So I did that. And then my friend Darcy brought some really good bean dip. Which I used to hate beans. And all of a sudden I love them. Whatever. So it was like beans and tomatoes and onions and olives and whatever. So it was like cheese, you know, kind of healthy. Kind of high protein because it had cheese and beans. I thought, which it's not. But I thought it was um, high protein. It wasn't. But whatever, it was probably one of the better choices on the boat, right? So, I had about three, maybe four Tostito chips, the scoops, with the dip in it. And then I had, um, you know, a couple barbecue chips. And then I had the top of a teeny muffin, or uh, it was like a cupcake, like one of them little baby cupcakes. And it had frosting on it, and I just ate like the top and threw the rest of them, like not the wrapper, but the bottom piece of it. And uh, all my friends on the boat knew. One thing that uh, <laughs> kind of sucks, I am completely open about my surgery. I put it on Facebook, like I tell people at my work, like I've told some of my patients, like I don't care, I'm not embarrassed about what I did. However, being stalled for 20 days makes it suck because every time I see anyone, they're like, How much have you lost now? How much have you lost now? I'm like, still 10 fucking pounds. Still the same. I've lost nothing. Like, it's very irritating to have people asking you all the time. And, yeah. So, that's one downside to telling everybody. I don't know. And then, uh, you know, I feel like people are watching me eat. To see what I'm eating. Like, can you have that? Are you allowed to have that? Are you, is there anything you can eat? Like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like awkward. Like, trust me, I'm not gonna eat something I, I'm not allowed to eat. But at this point, I can pretty much eat anything. I haven't tried a salad yet. I'm a little bit nervous, but I don't know. I'm gonna choke or something. <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm scared of a salad, but they did say that like fresh vegetables was gonna be harder to process or digest or whatever, so. Um, but I don't know, that's kind of awkward. Um, at the other party, the Halloween party, I had like three meatballs, a couple chips, and then um, maybe two pieces of candy. I did have a couple pieces of candy this weekend. And then my husband bought stupid Oreos, okay? That is like my arch enemy. Oreos are like my freaking best friend and worst enemy. Like, I love Oreos. I used to be able to sit and eat fucking 10 Oreos in a glass of milk and still want more, but be like, nah, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I already ate 10. You know, so he buys Oreos and he leaves them sitting on the table. So I ended up eating three freaking Oreos this weekend. And I'm like, why did you buy Oreos and just leave them sitting out? And he's like, well, I want, you know, I don't like them. It was like the mystery flavor. They actually tasted like Fruity Pebbles. They're pretty good. I like Fruity Pebbles too. But, um, He's like, you know, I, I didn't like them, so I left them out so you guys would eat them. I'm like, okay, but I shouldn't be eating Oreos. He's like, then don't eat them. Fuck you. <laughs> like, it's not that easy, okay? You just shove them right there in my face, sitting on the table. They're like talking to me every time I walk by, like, hey, Terry, did you want to bite? It tastes so delicious. Just eat me. It won't hurt. Leave them, Mario. We love you. Screw you, Oreos. So I had three Oreos. <laughs> Guess I'm crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to try to make better choices. But we're going to a wedding this weekend. So I went dress shopping. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, there's pictures of, of it, um, of different dresses that I tried on. I actually ended up going with the pink and black one which I have like a little not sweater but like one of those like dress over whatever's that I'll probably end up wearing because it's cold but um, I'll try to get some good body shots with me in that dress um, and put them on Instagram I'm not tech savvy guys I don't know how I don't know I don't know how to edit my videos I can add a thumbnail and that's about it um, I don't know 
I don't know if I'm gonna do a body shot this month because I don't feel like I lost anything. Like I didn't lose shit. Like since my last one, I haven't lost anything. So what's the point, you know? Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I'll wait. Whatever. Um, I did find, I was going through, I was looking for a specific picture through my old Facebook pictures. I found a picture of me, guys. I had no idea I was that fat. I had no idea. Like, if you look at it, you'd be like, holy shit. Like, it's a huge difference. I mean, I was still beautiful. I'm not hating on myself, guys. I love myself. Um, I've never um, had low self-esteem. I don't understand low self-esteem. You have to deal with yourself every single day of your life. If you don't like your life, or if you don't like yourself, your life is going to suck. Like, that's what I teach my kids. I'm not, I don't have low self-esteem. But, like, the, it just trips me out that the fact is that I didn't even notice. Like, how do you not fucking notice that? How do you not know? <laughs> I guess maybe I just think I'm the bomb biggity. <laughs> I have no idea. It was crazy though when I saw it. I was like, holy shit. My husband's like, what? I'm like, I was really big. He was like, but I still loved you. I'm like, yes, you did. I'll make me and my fluffy, whatever. Um, so everybody else who joined me on my stall, I hope you get to join me getting off of the stall. And I hope it doesn't last for 20 stinking days. It's hideous, guys. Um, but I might try not to weigh every day. I've been weighing every single day. It's like obsessive. Like I actually weigh twice a day. I weigh in the morning and then at night. It's obsessive. Like it's just unnecessary. I don't know. I'm going to try. I suck. Oh yeah. So this squat challenge. Okay. I made this video like five times. Uh, I don't know. It's just not working out for me. So if I already said this, I'm sorry, but I've been doing this squat challenge with half the ash um, she put it out so every time you go to the bathroom you do 15 squats and I don't know how long we're doing this for ash if you're watching it's not like a forever thing right <laughs> um, anyways I enjoyed seeing all your videos if you haven't already subscribed you can like my video you can whatever do all their stuff but the big thing is if you're watching this, even if it's a long time from now, if I'm not following you, if you post something um, on my video, then I always, anytime I get someone check it, like, who comments on my videos, I click the, their picture, like their face, and then go check out their channel to see if they make videos. And if they make videos, then I binge watch them, and then I will um, subscribe to them. You know, so if I'm not following you or you don't usually comment, just leave a little comment and I'll start following you because I am not tech savvy. I can't figure out how to know if I have, like I can tell if I, how many subscribers I have, but I can't tell, like, um, I can't tell who you are or so I can't follow you. I don't know. I'm probably never going to figure it out. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how to edit videos. I'm not going to figure it out. I I don't know. I just don't. So, whatever. You can like, subscribe, whatever. Comment below. And if you make it to the end, I, I thought somebody, somebody else saw the, did this and I thought it was funny. If you make it to the end, put a little emoji. Alright.